But yeah, that scroll. Yeah. What do you draw? Um, I draw mainly people. Ah. So I can get... Well, if you draw a really fucking badass person, that scroll could be useful. Wait, is it only going to be relative to the badass person? <laughs> well, no. Okay. Right. It's not like you, you draw, draw a, really a person guy, like this tall. big and then I say, oh yeah, you summon a, a... No, that's not... It's not a genie granted item kind of thing. It's not like a wish that's going to turn on you. Or you could just draw like a really tiny person next to their foot for scale. <laughs> <laughs> you draw a big foot next to them that gives you a tiny person and a foot. We, we did establish <laughs> as far as like objects are concerned, scale could possibly matter. Because you were like, oh yeah, we just draw a big old Looney Tune style bomb. It's like, well, you'd probably give you a grenade, you know, and you'd be like, no, it's big. And it's like, well, how do we know? It's well, like, that, oh, that, I draw that, a little that's... stick figure next to it. Yeah, so exactly. That that you <laughs> for scale. <laughs> no, put, I want to try to measurements in with it. Then you get one big ass bomb and like a stick figure dude that ha that wields it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but that'd be kind of awesome. <laughs> you do what you desire with that. But uh, welcome back to Mad King, everybody. Yo, whoa. We just got back from our five minute break. You guys are in the Underdark with Gladic and Lorenzo, and possibly more. Uh, May Very has cool. taken you to her workshop. She is kind of giving you guys the brief showing around. There are testing facilities, there's like a pile of things. And she just kind of like waves and she's like, and those are all my greatest inventions, and just like brushes past them like they don't even exist. And uh, is she continues showing you where she makes different kinds of things, the different forges she has access to, yada yada, this, that, and the other. And then she just stops, wheels on her heels, and looks at you. So, what spell do you want to make? I've never jingle jingle. Even hey, thought about this. Before. Fatal gaming. Thanks for following. Hello, thank you. <laughs> like, so I can explode heads, and that's really cool. Maybe something along that line, like instant heart attack. I mean, yeah, that exists. Oh. Uh, it's a rather complicated school of transmutation because it, it happens very finely and inside. Mm -hmm. Transmutation usually does best with grandiose things. <laughs> I turn a but it's it's right fish. there with testicular torsion, men <laughs> butt crack, <laughs> tungsten intestines, you know, the usual. Brain aneurysm. <laughs> Inverted eyeballs. I love those TikToks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ooh, dude, you're ooh, a metal ooh, wizard. I know. Learn how to get <laughs> tungsten balls. Uh, yeah. I got a spell. Enthusiastic one. Um, um, so it, it kind of like slows things down people down and and spells and and makes things heavy in its radius so that it's hard to move it's kind of like sanctuary except everyone's slow and they can't move so good because everything's heavy like a slowness kind of but like everything is also heavy and so like projectiles arc a little lower and like Spells travel slowly through it. Like a gravity surge. Sort of, yeah. You're just looking at combining those? Yeah. That'd be some high-level magic. I think it would be really cool, and it would level a lot of playing fields. It would level a lot of things, uh, depending on how much power you put into it, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> she, like, <laughs> pats you on the head a little bit. She doesn't seem very interested in you. It's okay. But she she turns back to you. had not seen me lift, bro. So what kind of spells <laughs> do you want to create? Something small. There's a lot to throw at someone. I, I didn't even consider this possibility yet. Mm. Mm. Can I think about it and come back to you? Of course. Take your time. Cool. Cool, cool. You're right beautiful now, when you think. The only thing I can think about is like the ability to just turn things blue, and that doesn't seem super useful. Well, sometimes inherently unuseful spells can just be fun. Could be useful in the ocean. We 
could. Mm. <laughs> no? <laughs> Is there... Cook. We could, like, cook food just instantly. And, like, perfect gourmet dish. The hero's feast, yes. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, back to things blue. I will come back to you. You look like you have a lot of energy pent up. I do like to hit things. Thanks for noticing. Ah, yes. Uh, would you like to test out a little something for me? Of course. Yeah, Invitation. there's yes. there's um training dummies. They come out over in that section there, and there is like a training, you know, a testing zone. I got a big hammer if you'd want to like try that out. Is it just a big hammer? Anything? Oh, of course not. Oh, what's Why it? would I just make a big hammer? Those already exist. Well, what's it do? Oh, it's not a magical thing. It's a it's a physical uh, engineering project that I've been working on. It it goes faster. You'll see. Okay. It is a uh, a strange warhammer. It is on whip wood, so the wood is very green and it bends and wobbles almost like rubber. The hammer head is this small plate of some kind of metal attached to this machination behind it. Uh, multiple cylinders, some hollow, some not. There are some spinning metal bits inside. It is generally hammer-shaped. All right, yeah. Take you kick it back, there's a little button, like a squeeze activation trigger. You reel it back and you squeeze immediately the machine begins whirring and fire begins spitting out the back of it and it rockets and just starts spinning you in circles and when it collides with with the dummy everything shatters and explodes i need a reflex saving throw just handed you reinhardt's hammer that is a 14 oh. 14 is that it oh wait plus, plus reflex seven. Yeah, hold on. That's 21, actually. Okay, 21's way better. <laughs> yeah. It's good for half damage. Go on ahead and take 40 points of damage. As it explodes <laughs> and you are laid out flat, you are covered in soot, and she is, like, behind a blast glass, and she is just, like, jumping for joy and clapping her hands. Oh, that was wonderful. Perfect. Now I just have to stabilize it. Laying on the floor, like. <laughs> <Smoke trail. laughs> you do find yourself in some good company. What happened to the others? Um. East went to be with his people. Oh, that's a damn shame. Uh, I liked him. Adzeli, Adzeli died. Married men are always my type. Adzeli was the angry one with the. Uh, you gave her the metal mechanic leg. leg that I made. Yes, yeah. Did you get the leg back? <laughs> no. That's too bad. That's too bad. Is this the chick that fixes the things? Yeah. Okay. Cool. My sword needs fixed too. What's like? That's what's an your, idea. What's like your rate for fixing stuff? I got my great sword needs some fixing. What kind of fixing? Like uh, physical fixing or no, like some enchanted fixing? Reapplied. Yeah. Reapplied? Just re upped? They've expired? <sighs> no, they met in... the same fate as the flail. Oh, so it's just an inert. You just need new enchantments. <sighs> yeah, it's made of mithril. It's very cool. What kind of enchantments do you need? Um, It's got keen and impact on it. Oh. I can go for some more. She, she gives you standard going rate. I don't usually do commission work, especially that mediocre. Well, like, I'm up open to suggestions, but it's just, you know, I put them on there myself, and I just, oh, you cute. know, because it's, yeah, you know, little guy, big sword, I just, so anyway, can I just use your forge, I guess, if you're just going to charge me the raid, I can <laughs> craft it myself. Well... What do I get out of letting you use my workshop? Um, what do you want? 
Oh. Uzzle's just gonna laugh <laughs> as, he, as he's like as he's like tinkering with like some random thing that he finds interesting in the workshop. <laughs> Ooh. Interesting. Uh yeah, she kind of turns from you and goes, Well, out of Oozle, I've already gotten what I desire. But Oh, you're all completely unaware. Oozle hasn't told you anything, has he? Nope. I was the is it the is it the offspring? Oh, well, it all surrounds that, yes. It all ends up down that road. She waves her hand in front of herself, and her human visage is gone, and her demonic visage appears to you. May is a succubus. I don't necessarily deal in gold if I can help it, but you're not uh, my type. I'm plenty charismatic, ah. thank you. <laughs> the one on the floor, though. I like her. She returns <laughs> to her to her human visage. We're like practically cousins. We're like the same. <laughs> Some people Except that one looks it, like it sleeps know. on the ground. She like darkly and quickly <laughs> closes <laughs> close to your face. Both of us know that that's not true. I don't... What? Whatever beautiful magics you have affixed to yourself, do not pretend that they are real. Ma'am, I'm so confused. <laughs> and she backs something. back up bright and happy again. <laughs> I'm not going to give them any recommendations, but they can reach out themselves. They've got it open. I mean, it's a good idea. It's a very good idea. It's, it's a very practical, straight out, It'd be a ninth level spell. It could have some very interesting complications. It could have actually, some excruciatingly like resetting your biology like that, especially if you were to try to cast it at lower levels, or like taking someone who's wizened could cost them wisdom. Could, hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. She backs up. <laughs> I'd be more than happy to do some work for you guys in exchange for some services. It's on you guys. She doesn't. It's an I. She something against me. I don't know what. I'm just a halfling. I mean, Uzel, how <laughs> serious is this situation ship of yours? Try to make it serious. She does not about it. Couldn't care less. He has an exclusivity deal, but my end is open. And actually, you amended that last time. Not necessarily exclusive anymore. True, true. There is still just tinkering. Like I'm not even <laughs> I'm not even like turning around. I'm just like shouting over my shoulder. <laughs> the stamina requirements are quite tight. <laughs> I was just got like some copper wire in the corner. Talking <laughs> with the voices in my head, aka chat. And uh I came up with an idea, mate. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Weird. So divine intervention hits in many ways. Right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was not prepared. <laughs> Creative juices not flowing right now. Um so basically like a spell that takes a person regardless of their age and either like increases or reverts them back to peak physical or mental condition, whichever one is easier, or both if that's possible. Uh, changing mental conditions is uh, much more difficult to oneself, in a positive manner at least. At that point, though, you're talking soul magics. You have quite the uh, hungry idea. Someone does. I mean, it's the voices, man. <laughs> <laughs> That would be a spell that even I might have trouble truly creating. Yeah, there's no way in hell I can do that right now. Like I, I can funny wording. Teleport. Uh, teleportation magics are always quite fun. 
As you guys are talking, there's like a small explosion as like what I was tinkering with. Like started <laughs> yeah. I, I, I noticed I noticed it started to smoke and I've been here long enough and I'm like, oh that's exploding. I just toss it over my shoulder. Pick up something else. <laughs> she doesn't flinch. I know she doesn't. <laughs> uh her like prized inventions, are they like behind glass or are they just sitting on a shelf hanging out? They're not even sitting on a shelf, they're in a pile. Yeah, that's what I'm Fuck, tinkering with. Yeah. <laughs> it oozles over like picking up random things from it I'd like to make a stealth roll there's a gauntlet and it's got all of these like glowing gems on the knuckles <laughs> bad experiences with gauntlets actually I've had great experiences with gauntlets <laughs> the bracers oh. they're, they're, they're named the gauntlets of the fiend but they are technically just bracers so technically speaking I could wear both technically speaking you could wear both <laughs> yeah they take up the wrist slot not the glove slot Sick. As far as Pathfinder is concerned. Yeah. Old magic item. I didn't create it and I didn't name it. Blame Chris. <laughs> Blame Chris for the confusion. I'm like trying on stuff in the pile. <laughs> I slipped the gauntlet it's a dangerous on. Dangerous game you're playing over That's there. That's why things are exploding. <laughs> Again, I've just been here enough that I can tell this is about to explode and I just get rid of that one. <laughs> you can make OP spells. They are only level 12. And so the, the realisticness of them being able to follow through on your ideas if you're making OP spells. Low. Something yeah. that might be a Still little bit here though. more in my purview. Uh-huh. Hey, you still have one of the god tokens, right? Uh, yeah. Give me. No. <laughs> no. That conversation's over fast. <laughs> <laughs> For what? Well, because I... I wanted a dramatic thing as I... I mean, I'm not going to use it. I just wanted to be able to show May what I'm talking about. I'll hand it to Ellie, my last god token. <laughs> a spell specifically designed to pinpoint the location of these. Oh, sure. Tracking spells? Yeah. You can do something like that. Um, what makes it so special? Is it just a gold coin? Are you looking for similar makes? I'll take the coin back and I will inform May that it is god magic. Ah. Uh, unfortunately, I am barred by the laws of all uh, from dabbling in god magic. You could play around with it, though. Okay. Why? Are you... Because I'm a succubus. And I escaped to this plane from hell. Gods and demons don't play nice. Besides, of course, <laughs> the god of demons. But are they gonna be? In... Are you gonna get in trouble? That like, if I touch that, probably. No, if you touched him. Oh, I haven't gotten in trouble yet. And we have done plenty of touching. Clearly. She kind of like rubs her belly. Does the god stuff like pass through to your offspring? Has anybody tested this yet? Mm -hmm. I don't know if it has kids. Oh, you're testing it right now. <laughs> Got it. In the trial stage, yeah. That's why you wanted him. Have you I ever wondered, have you ever like... thought about having kids? No. No. Rack? <clears throat> uh kids and I don't get along. Mm -hmm. Loud and obnoxious and like but what if you didn't have to deal with them ever? We're fighting a war right now. I can't be <laughs> waddling around. A war on the surface. <laughs> Let's see down here for nine months. What if you didn't have to birth them either? No, thank you. I'll be a distant parent, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Bill Rune, I believe you've got your enchantments. Yeah. All I'm going to say is if that's the case, you're getting a really bad deal. I mean, like, get more enchantments for your buck, my guy. <laughs> so I've been advised. Don't listen to him. He's bitter that he's lost his. I've been advised that maybe we could get some more enchantments. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like my lawyer to be here. Um, Was there anything you'd be interested in, darling? 
I just wanted to go looting, and now we're here, so now there's not really anything you can offer me at the mm. moment. Well, if you're still interested in being a distant parent, and she kind of waves her hand, and a piece of paper and a quill appears in them, all I'd really need is a signature and perhaps uh, as long of, as much of your time as you're willing to give me. All right. Well, I'd recommend we'll... reading that before anything else. I have a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe when you're done with the whole, you know, thing that you've already started. Oh, that's not an issue. All right. Well, I'll contact the lawyer and, you know, get back to you. You call up Devon? <laughs> yeah. He's like, God, I just got home. <laughs> All right. I'm, st I'm, I'm walking there now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, I'd like to, to make a stealth check. I don't want anybody to pay attention to me. That's a 32. Okay. Uh, Sandoval, you're here. <laughs> <laughs> you just start like whispering. <laughs> I need you to tap me on the shoulder. You feel a tap on your shoulder. Can you pocket some of the stuff? Favorite dimensions pile. Tap me on the shoulder once for no, yes for no, to do for yes. I think you can get it. You feel two taps on your shoulder. Great, it doesn't matter. One of you is just pocket something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you whisper as Maze in the middle of trying to get Rack to sign this contract of parenthood. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Any other spell ideas? Not at the moment. She can and is willing primarily because she understands that she needs to get in the party's good graces here just a little bit more because apparently Oozle's not uh, speaking <laughs> highly of her when she's away or at all. Uh, she's <sighs> willing to show you some of the basics of crafting your own spell in that cracking magic field. She just cannot interact with the god token so she shows you basically how to do a tracking style spell with like a normal coin and mm -hmm. she's like and so you know i can then find any other coins any other of these golden coins made from the same mint on the same day kind of deal this is incredible and so yeah she uh she teaches you some of those basics of the spell it's going to take though a little bit for you to figure out since she can't show you the exact Mm -hmm. One that you need. Gotcha. Let's go. What do you guys get up to while you wait for Devon? <laughs> He's on his way. I mean, do you have to sign this contract right now? Can no, we I just like to sign it right now? I mean, highly recommend reading it before signing. I would just love it if you did right now, though. I'm sure she would. <laughs> I really think we should wait for the lawyer. Like, yeah. he's, he's also kind of a slow reader, and that seems like a lot of paperwork. It could be like a week. Well, we'll just be wait, wasting what is, your time if we wait for him. What is know? what language is it written in? Good question. What languages do you speak? Uh, Orcish, Common, Celestial, Abyssal, Dwarven, Undercommon, Sign Language, and Draconic. Uh, Infernal Ignan is the only thing I have off that list. Okay. And other common, I guess. But... Yeah. I mean, while we're waiting, what do you know about the drow that are supposedly, like, over there? Oh, I haven't left the city walls in months. And realistically, I don't tend to leave. There's everything that I need here in this city. Gotcha. The police or just, just outside on the surface. Seemed, I don't know, kind of hostile towards them and said, like, yeah, go ahead, go raid them. Oh, well, yeah, the uh, the police care very little for anything that happens outside of the walls. That's not their jurisdiction. They said that they were doing, like, bad things, and they were, like, not cool. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, um, I'm assuming they are talking probably about the drow that are part of the uh, the smuggling operations here in the Citadel. And they bring contraband in. They give necromantic services within city walls, which is, of course, illegal. Unless you're an Imagineer under special permitting, like myself. I don't really do necromancy, though. It's just kind of icky. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's kind of icky. Okay, good to know. It is quite the OP spell. Hey. That might be even more so than your last one. It is even more so than your last one. 
necromancy is not that icky. Okay, like you know, it's all about how you use it. <laughs> Everything Life is true and death from a certain point two sides of, view. of a coin, right? 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 Like, <laughs> so the police might have special interest in them because they do illegal things here in the citadel and then go outside where it's out of their jurisdiction and you know, the Adventurers Guild hasn't actually tackled the problem yet because maybe it's too big or, you know, they're just not interested. Shoot, maybe those drow pay them off. Maybe. So they don't go and get rid of them. A bounty from the Adventurers Guild so that we can raid them and collect the bounty. The Adventurers Guild has many bounties. Double the loot. I don't really have anything against smugglers, though. They're usually pretty cool people. I met the smuggler once. He said something about so uh bells, the bells. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, your informant, Thelmar. <laughs> your smuggler. <laughs> exactly. Be cool guy. He seemed nice. First I don't time? know how you guys didn't see him leave. Did you ever see his face? I didn't look. It's hard to look, right? I wasn't trying. Didn't so think of it. Yeah, yeah it just didn't never occur crossed to me. your mind. <laughs> Which now that you're like saying it out loud is kind of odd. <laughs> yeah. It's impressive. And he's like, oh, that guy. Yeah, he's a charmer. Like he's a char- like he's charming, or he does charm work. Yes. Cool. Yeah, the mental magics. That's his specialty. He works for you. Did he not? tell you that they're new I, I, yeah I had like <laughs> oh I'm sure I haven't ran into any of them, them yet you've been holding out on me this is all happening within the last like three weeks or like a month now yeah <laughs> she kind of like rubs her belly funny how things happen so fast yeah you're telling me <laughs> she's gonna show up at the most inopportune time and be like I need you to babysit she can't do a child probably <laughs> Good thing I have a it's in the contract. <laughs> Good thing I have a backpack of power. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone laughed at me, but it's coming in real fucking handy recently. Devon shows up. Uh, he has. He's a little bit more organized now. He has his, you know, kind of snap legal book. Are his pants still on <laughs> backwards? No, nope, no, his pants. His pants are corrected. He's. He was not rushed out of bed. He was... legalese for dummies. <laughs> <laughs> Just in infernal. <laughs> Devon, we got a job for you. Um, yes, uh, you were rather brief associate. over the call. What legalities are we well, my, speaking of? My here? associate was offered a contract, and I just wanted you to read it over. Oh, of course, anytime. It is my job. It is my <laughs> job forever. And ever, I think. Well, it's good to find a passion for life, you know? He, uh, <laughs> he receives, he walks up and he goes, May. And she goes, Devon. Oh, you guys know each other. That's amazing. It's kind of a small town around here, isn't it? I even think the police at the station knew you, Devon. That's kind of weird, right? He deflates a little bit. <laughs> that one. He goes, well, when you work in the legal circuit, you uh, you run into police That's, frequently. Yeah. Huh. I knew him from high school. What was he like in high school? More pimples? And he's kind of like, oh. <laughs> Do you have a picture? Worst haircut. A drawing. <laughs> <laughs> I have our, our, our class portrait. <laughs> it's just hidden away over there in my <laughs> private quarters. Uh, feel free. Ignore everything else. I'm okay. I don't like going into people's rooms without them in there. It feels kind of invasive. Huh. Guess I never looked at it that way. Devon goes and <laughs> looks over the uh, the paperwork. And he starts like, he's red, yeah, but he blushes, yeah, right. And he's kind of like, um, Miss Rack, do you understand the gist of what you're signing up for? Uh, no, I can't read that language. A um, I can't read a general agreement. <laughs> um, in in layman's terms, um, in the more proper sense. Uh, you're agreeing to intercourse and impregnation, but not of you, of Miss May. 
and this is work, Devon. The Get it out. <laughs> tiring of a child. Um, there is clauses in for no monetary support requirements and uh, the waiving of legal rights to access to the child, barring May's directives. So, like, anything bad happening to me? Uh, only if you find Miss May unattractive, I suppose. All right, signed. <laughs> you take it from him and sign. Done. Okay, you do. Say stuff. no more. Uh, you guys are left alone in May's workshop for I need a Constitution saving throw. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be thirty-eight for about three hours. As May immediately just scoops you up and you are whisked away to private quarters for close curtains <laughs> speak. Interesting. Sorry, Weasel. Don't <laughs> bother me none. May had her chance. <laughs> <laughs> she got what she wanted. She can still get what she wants. <laughs> you, of course, don't have any kids no. prior to this. Okay. Interesting. It is a wonderful time. I will say that much on stream. Yeah. <laughs> May is uh, excruciatingly talented. He's a succubus, I would hope so. Years of practice. Yeah. Centuries of practice, some may say. She's good at her job. Yeah. Anything you three get up to for a couple hours? You just keep fucking with her, her stuff? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Just super casual. Would you like to make a roll to try to work this spell? Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, spellcraft, knowledge arcana, something like that. 32. 32 in totality. You you make progress. Uh the spell does not fire or if it does, it fires in a way that is unhelpful. You focus on the wrong element. You search for all coins with that relative insignia and it's just not quite what you're after you know you search for all coins made of gold from the same mountain and it's it overwhelming and not quite useful it'll take some time it may take a couple of days to dial in but keep making those rolls cool big hammer still out no it, it's exploded into many pieces Damn. okay there are however like the the contraption that makes that hammers that made the hammer's head yeah. There are some smaller versions of it sitting without handles. Interesting. Uh, over in the testing area. Yeah. Like she was, you know, making miniature scale ones to test the mechanism before trying to make a full size model just to save material. Yeah. They have like uh, leather straps around. Yeah. Work oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. There's this whole <laughs> like swing contraption made just just out in the open. Terrifying. Uh, there's some like bits of what appear to be like dried blood on it, but whatever, you know, leather's leather. Awful. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna start like disassembling that. I'll just take, you know, pull what I can out of loops. Uh, take a knife to some of it if I need to cut some strips. Yeah. Um, and Uzzle, you look over. You remember that? <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> and I like take like some of the like like smithy gloves. I'm just gonna. Just, I'm like, gonna shout. I'm gonna shout back. You should make a you should make a helmet out of that. <laughs> I don't really that wear, section right there. I don't really wear helmets. <laughs> it's not really my thing. Mess my hair up, you know. You can you do like an open top thing. I got like a like, visor, but I got like a hood and like it's the section that Oozle's pointing to is actually kind of like like a like a outline of a football in shape, you know. So like yeah. it would it would kind of work for that like head strap down the ears <laughs> and around the back of your head. It just have to be sized. No, I'm okay. I don't do helmets. <laughs> Not my thing. <laughs> I want to make a roll to try to convince them, but I don't know what that would be. <laughs> Maybe diplomacy, but you know, making rolls against players isn't necessarily <laughs> useful because I can't enforce what, uh, that. Give, give me a number that I would need to hit. Give to me a number. <laughs> give me, give me a DC. I don't think it's gonna happen. Give, give me, give me a DC. <laughs> 
Wait, wait, you get a nat 20 on this roll. <laughs> no DC, just nat 20. Oh, God damn it, it was a 19. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Damn it. <laughs> yes, we're going to miss. Sorry, Doug. Spend a hero point. Reroll. I want, I want you to know, I want you to know that if I had a hero point, <laughs> it would be spent. <laughs> Didn't we all get re-upped recently? Did we? Some of us did at least. I Some might have reset. Did. Yeah, I don't think I did. I'm pretty sure. I'd have to I'd have to look back through. Yeah, it's sure. been a good couple of weeks. Either way. Um but yeah, in some like I'm gonna uh you know, take like a Smithy's glove and like strap the rocket to it with, with that. Yeah. Whistle, come here. I just wanna try something. They're shining dummies. Yeah, but like it's just you know, I'm punching hay, it's not the same. You're literally invincible sometimes. Like sometimes, so okay, be invincible I'm not right use now. It for this. <laughs> you know what else we got going on today? <laughs> you don't know what else May has planned. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Come on, just one. We saw you, we coward. You think we, this we little? We still haven't talked about my flail yet. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> you think I'm gonna lay you out? I'm I'm three foot even. All right, you get you can uh, you can hit me if I can hit you. Sure. Cool. <laughs> Yeah. You guys square up. <laughs> They're like wind up. <laughs> so just... you just you just have a leather glove with a leather strap <laughs> to this fire making device. Yeah, it's just strapped to your bare wrist. Yeah, and I need. Okay, to point what's out, your fire resistance? Uh, ten. Cool. And I want to point out that the last one exploded. I pray that you lose <laughs> a hand. You know, we'll see. <laughs> you trigger it and try to rocket punch him. Yeah. Fuck, man, give me an attack roll. <clears throat> You're not resisting, right? You're not sparring. You're just playing punchies. <laughs> sure. Oh, I uh, won't. Nat 20? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, 40 total. 40 total? Yeah. You absolutely hit. It, your hand hits Oozle's enchanted steel <laughs> breastplate. <laughs> With this rocket accelerating it, burning the shit out of your arm, and the rocket explodes into its constituent parts. It's roll on arm damage, I suppose. A D4 for untrained, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a D3 because you're small. Right. Uh, easy, so, easier math. I'm just picturing one the point. Whole, of, or, like, I'm sorry, plus strength. Uh, yes. Seven points of damage. <laughs> Yeah, uh, reflex saving throw. And are you exclusively relying on your armor to, like, cushion you from whatever may happen? I mean, I'll flex a little bit. Like, <laughs> you know I mean, I, I don't know, other than moving out of the way, I don't know what else I can... Yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, it's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Fatal Gaming, these are all ideas that are just impossible to make within a reasonable <laughs> casting level. I love them all, but like Okay, what's what's the highest Maybe they want to finish the campaign. Right Six. Six. Okay. I can barely get uh, off the teleport spell, is it man. 25 on the reflex. That's that's pretty decent. Yeah, you take I'm springy. Half damage. This is a much smaller rocket. Yeah. Uh 30 points of damage. Uh okay. 67 points of damage to you. And I need a circumstance roll. A D100, a D20. I'm not too terribly worried about what it is exactly, so long as it's a higher number die that you roll. Yeah, we'll do the D100. Perfect. Uh, 58. Lose, uh, hand. 58? Lose, uh, hand. Yeah. Your hand is shattered. <laughs> and your skin is completely singed off to the point where there is, like, exposed bone. You need medical attention this very second yeah, yeah the world kind of <laughs> yeah yeah you do maintain consciousness uh but you're not okay yeah and if you don't get medical attention very very soon you're gonna lose half your arm uh, i don't heal i can't fix do i that. think magical my magical healing is enough to fix this you what's the highest level heal it is heal yeah uh, 
it will stabilize you, but it is not that does not, not gonna regrow it, flesh yeah. in that way. Yeah. You know, can't quite de-regenerate yet. Yeah. Cool. Um, well, in order to not die before I before I meet someone who can help me, yeah, uh, I'll cast heal and then yeah, as as like the shock is just about to start overwhelming you and making you unable to do anything other than scream, you cast your heal. You stabilize yourself. Your mind clears for a moment, but you're not you're not realistically in a position to be making decisions for yourself. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Uzel, that happens. <laughs> uh, Bail Rune is is laying there, and he like has glown for a moment, and you see that he is not actively like losing more chunks of flesh, but he is very obviously in shock and like shutting down. So, I mean, you see this as well. So, what we learn? I have nothing to say right now. <laughs> Currently. <laughs> it's just like wide-eyed staring at his own bones and what remains of his tendons. You said you were going to hit me back. A deal's a deal. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> if the Oozle administer anesthetics. <laughs> a deal's a deal. I'll give him a swift kick as I drag him to the, uh, to the lobby because this is an engineering core. Accidents happen. I'm sure somebody can help him. Yeah, yeah you just you drag being, him out the hall. Yeah, and... you are being dragged. <laughs> hey, you like grab him by his heel. Yeah. Hey, we need a doctor. <laughs> exactly. I mean, any. I'm sure there's some people. Are you just stand in your own here. world? For exactly. This? Like, I'm sure nobody around here oh, can help I you. Assumed yeah. that I'm, I'm sure magical accidents. My role was like here. the three hours of me very. Concentrating yes, you are. You are concentrating, this. but this is absolutely going to break your concentration and and take some of your time gonna be expensive to pay for hospital bills here i doubt i doubt i'm in network <laughs> you ain't getting jesus <laughs> you ain't, you're you ain't not wrong no... bro but like whoa this is a three-year campaign we want to end it nobly yeah or maybe really, not if I don't we wanted know. to end it like that you know there's always the 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 portable hole and, and bag of holding trick. Wait till we start up bag our rotate. Yeah. Wait till we start our rotating games again to start recommending things like that. Cause those games only last like a month. So it doesn't matter if you end them in like, ridiculous ways. Please don't that because I'm going to DM for one of those. And I don't want that. <laughs> just something that would be more usable where like once a day you can cast a 20th level spell. A, a ninth level spell, yeah. as if you're yeah, twentieth yes, level. Yes, yeah, that's what I yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that would have to be like a once a month or a week thing. Like, there would be, yeah, it'd be one of those deals. But realistically, that's not outside of your purview because there are enchanted items. If you had a staff that had ninth level spells stored in it, you could cast that at almost any level of wizard. Mm -hmm. So that is that is a realistic idea, and realistically, it's. A spell that already exists in world, not in Pathfinder, but but this whole bell rune thing, you're <laughs> you're not worrying about that. You're just worrying about your spell. No, I mean I did shout out like I I don't heal, I can't fix that, and yeah. then I went right back to my my cool. heal can't do shit for this. So <laughs> yeah, no, yours Red absolutely cannot. Terrifies me, and I am doing everything I can to get an advantage <laughs> right now. Fair, fair. Yeah, she's not that bad. Slit her throat once. You can Did you always... sleep with her too? No, I slit her throat. You can always recommend more game-breaking ideas. I just hope that this compadre of players I have here does not take your advice. <laughs> Sorry, friend. <laughs> we already have one game-breaking idea. They just, yeah, they've already had one before you showed up. <laughs> I had several. I just it don't would, act on them. It would 100% your idea of taking your anti-magic stone and destroying all the ley lines of magic and removing magic from the entirety of the world would end the campaign. And solve most of our problems. It would be ludicrously unsatisfying. You would simply go back to being normal people with no magical capabilities, just living your lives. Yeah, the Mad King couldn't soul bind people anymore. Yeah. Everything would just be chill. Honestly, I mean... out of everybody here, <laughs> me and Rack ending. me and Rack would be okay. We're the only martialists, really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're a cleric. With a strength score of twenty two. <laughs> <laughs> Any hoser. 
And it got I got score it's 22. You're like, you're like it would be great. A foot tall. <laughs> I'm three feet tall. Thank you. <laughs> you have that like ant strength. Don't right? degrade my height. <laughs> well, I guess we would also get into like. And I got which mad ribs. Beings are Apparently not. <laughs> too magical to it's a 24. I don't. It would just like, die out. <laughs> apparently may the succubus that's down to smash anything and it wants to smash another. you so apparently Listed, your risk right. score is relatively low <laughs> 24 <laughs> man of the cloth that's really what it is nothing but fucking blue balls all the time <laughs> <laughs> certainly plays a part certainly plays a part with the succubus yeah um, your time going over there it's great <laughs> We're on, we're on we're on stream. No details, please. It's very family friendly. <laughs> we're a family friendly I stream. Several water breaks, but it's doing great. She actually has it's magic potions that, like and... you know, it's like Gatorade <laughs> Plus. You know, <laughs> Gatorade <laughs> Plus. Well, they they made that now. It's Gator Light. Gator Light. <laughs> so did you need another roll from her? For Summon the... cool dude. No, Summon that'd be cool. that'd be your only roll for like the day. It's a daily kind of style thing. Um, you drag Belrune down the hall. Oh, you I... get some attention from some <laughs> folk, and they're like, "Oh my god!" Oh my blah, god. Blah, and eventually, yeah, get a robotic hand. Eventually, yeah, you do get some uh, some EMS out there. You think that'll be cheaper? You guys got this, right? It takes a while. Yeah, they kind of look at you, and yeah, we've we've got him. We know how to deal with these type, and it's it's these two Dwargar guys, and they uh, they pick you up and cart you off, oh. brother. <laughs> do you think Dwargar anatomy is different than halfling anatomy in a way that's significant enough that with your semi unconscious ass dog at this point I'm wondering if I'm even a halfling okay <laughs> like May seems to know some shit that I don't you weren't here but daddy said I had special blood and I don't think it's the A positive <laughs> and I just you know <laughs> I'm a little worried <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they got him I'm gonna go back to Cool. I'm playing with the things. <laughs> yeah, you go back into May's workshop. Bill There's Rude, a lot you of are bullshit in here. <laughs> carted off. I need one more circumstance roll from you. <laughs> what's uh, what's you the are, favorable odds here? You are on unfavorable odds because they do not know you are a halfling. They believe you are a Dwargar. Yeah, and I'm not in any way... I'm not in a, in a, in a good capacity to communicate and that. And as a matter of fact, especially I need to make a circumstance roll before you make that circumstance roll. Especially considering that like in your delirious state, you refer to them <laughs> as brother. brother. <laughs> you may be at a greater disadvantage Okay, as this is a a mixed surgery room that you are in. Sure, yeah. <laughs> and so like so like your Dwargar so like your Smurfeblin surgeon believes you're a Smurfeblin. Yeah. And yeah. your and and his Dwargar support staff oh. think you're a Dwargar. I love consequences. And the Abolith administrator believes you to be an Abolith. Dick. Right, okay. like oh, consequences. You are, actions. you are in. So what's what's worst case scenario here. here? Worst case scenario here is elbow stump. Okay. Technically, technically, worst case scenario here is they give you an anesthetic that is deadly. Yeah. To you. Okay. Right. Cool. Okay. What kind of numbers cool. is he looking for? Yeah. I'm but... just curious. I'm just uh, high curious. numbers are good. Okay, high He's numbers looking good. To roll, uh, 66. Yeah, I need like a 90 and above. <laughs> That'd be really fucking great if you could roll that. Cool. Uh, I'm going to say it's probably going to be like 45. I'm hoping for a 15. <laughs> uh, 34. Thir 30. 30. 34. 34. Above 30. That is better than 20% bad. Better than death. Yeah, that is. It's better than 20. <laughs> It's not as good as 40 though. Second to worst, <laughs> second to worst you can do outside of the the uh one <laughs> kill. Yeah. One yeah. insta death. You you lose the arm. Yeah. It is you are stumped from the elbow down. They are unable to save you. There is confusion in the surgery room. There is confusion when it comes to dosing. There is an argument that breaks out. 
over what general <laughs> anesthetic to utilize. They're like whipping out their PhDs to kind of like dick measure you know, yeah. who's the better doctor. As, as like, they're yelling at each other like, no, the crab men need this general anesthetic. What you're trying to give him would have no effect. And then the others go, no, Dwargar need this general anesthetic. <laughs> and none of these doctors... What you're recommending would kill him. None of these doctors are smart enough to realize, why do all of us think he's something else? It takes a long <laughs> while as as everybody, like, when the air starts clearing, when it's like, how dare you try to give a Dwargar such poison? And then they're like, Dwargar, he's obviously a Shmurfibla. And, like, <laughs> and then everybody kind of stops mm -hmm. and, like, turns back. And one comes up and goes, perhaps he has demonic blood. And that's what they go with. Uh, they believe you to be a succubus like may at that point in all reality <laughs> and unfortunately your they they at that point <laughs> resort almost exclusively to physical intervention and they're close but not quite you know what does that mean? They're close, but not quite. They're, they're <laughs> to close, a succubus. They're they're close as in a succubus is closer to you okay. than a dwargar is. I was like, what? Yeah. So so like, in technical terms, right? A succubus can take on any form, meaning right. that like a true succubus is closer to an ooze. Yeah. If anything. But when they take the form, it is a true conversion. It is. It is by organ it is by blood it is by all of that but the real problem comes down to that they simply do not know what you actually are if you were a succubus impersonating something they don't know what a halfling is really good news is right next door <laughs> there's a really tired woman succubus lady who knows how to make your uh your my new prosthetic, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You come to, and the and the doctor has like some general placations of apology that it took him so long to figure out what you were. And then yeah, unfortunately, my was, lawyer. <laughs> and unfortunately, it was too late. Uh, unfortunately, when Devon shows up, the the hospital practices under emergency circumstances are airtight, and they're protected basically under Good Samaritan laws yeah. at that point. You know, yeah. like. No yeah. malpractice it's not a, it's not a malpractice because you didn't have any form of of legible identification or anything like that you know gotta start making a fucking id card <laughs> have a couple you gotta have dog languages. tags but in different languages <laughs> blood type species i know that now i mean they probably do. <laughs> i didn't know that was a thing before i don't know what that means but yeah they uh the hospital does offer regenerative services it's like a several year rehabilitation. Yikes. I know a guy who could cut that down by a lot. You know a guy who could cut that down by a lot, a lot. One of the doctors does pull you aside and go, hey man, if you really, if 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 prosthetics, and you know, one guy comes in and talks to you about prosthetics, he's a representative from the engineers kind of deal. <sighs> He and just, and gives you <laughs> gives you it gives you you know kind of like the brochure rundown everything from a fucking wooden peg that would stick straight out your elbow <laughs> and not do anything. <laughs> yes, you could like screw a broom on the end, <laughs> you know, <laughs> to like okay. dragon scale style mechanical construct limbs that can be enchanted with extra things and all the bells and whistles and the most expensive thing possible. Okay, hear me out. You get like peg leg arm right uh -huh. and then you teach yourself wood shape and then it could just be whatever you want <laughs> you right. become a druid <laughs> yeah you... after that man leaves uh someone he kind of looks maybe closer to a janitor comes in very <laughs> elfish in appearance but ashen dark skin white eyes yeah it, it, yeah you know drow uh, and he kind of like sneaks up and goes, Hey man, if you want flesh and blood, right. And you don't want to wait for the regenerative services. There is a place just outside of town. Um, necromantic services aren't allowed in here. It's cheap, but it's effective. And he Yo. just kind of like slides a card your way. Okay. And he goes, 
I don't have any uh, official affiliation. I'm just a paid sponsor. And yeah, then he yeah. walks out. And wait, do, can I get my hand? Do they at least like... <laughs> uh, he kind of stops and turns like around. Like a specimen jar? Uh, I'm not a doctor. You'd have to ask your doctor. And he leaves. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll request for my hand at the front desk. <laughs> yeah, they, they're... They're beautiful. They're kind of taken aback, out. and like one one nurse practitioner comes up, and she's like super excited. She's like, "No one's ever asked for it back before," <laughs> and like it's like in a pickle jar. Yes, <laughs> that's exactly what I needed. <laughs> beautiful. Yeah, I, I take it with. I'll go talk to the prosthetics guy. Yeah, yeah. You uh, you are taken back, basically right next to May's workshop. Yeah, I just got to get a quote at least. You know, you guys are long done at this point. Uh, you need a nap. Sorry, I blew up, gang. <laughs> Do you guys have any other business in the Underdark? I mean... Was May able to pick my flail? She absolutely can. Yeah. For what? <laughs> what else can she strip you of at I, this point? Like... Yeah, buddy, I'm going to be honest with you. She doesn't need anything. Well, as a matter of fact, she doesn't even need you, like, today just in like your basal contract because you know rack like she's happy cool well i ain't got shit else to do here so <laughs> unless you want to like for your pay from the hospital. you you do have your standard <laughs> discount rate you as well now you've got a 10 percent discount from from book price on any magical items or anything like that from may oh, at base how much did we say a fourth level enchantment was? And she does want to remind you that you can have that discount uh, as well. I think it was 30,000. Like and you don't have to give up your first child. Like a fourth level spell or a plus four enchantment? That's the thing. Uh, I'm okay right now. I really appreciate all of the work that we did with the spells. Oh, and like, over. Uh, I would be more than willing to pay four. full price. Okay. Just uh, Oh, you don't know me anything yeah. for that one. Because I have uh, Vicious, Growth, oh. and Impact. Yeah, uh, 32,000. You've been great. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. That's the crafting price. You're great. Why Do come back, I'm... though. I really am. <laughs> As we've just established, Oozle's a fucking stud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still working on you, I can't say. Sorry, sweetie. Hmm. But rest assured, I know what I'm doing. I believe you. Okay. Well, it was nice to meet you. You as well. Always a pleasure. Please come back. Anytime. Okay. Inventory. Uh, were we going to still talk to the adventure people and see if they've got anything cool for us? I mean, you're missing an arm now, but like... Oh, yeah, do you get back to the workshop, or are you still next door? I'm mean, going to get my quote. <laughs> I've what, been gone uh, for hours at this point. Yeah, yeah, this is all This is all well before. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is all going to happen well after this conversation. Gotcha. Okay, in that case, let's, I guess we should look at. You want to go visit Belrune in the hospital, perhaps? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, you guys go to the hospital. Uh, You are kept in waiting till he is kind of stable and deemed mentally stable <laughs> after the failure. And they do tell you, like, yeah, the the recovery attempt for his arm was an abject failure. But by the time you get down to the front desk and you get your arm back in a jar, your friends are there. Sick. Yeah, I'm, like, holding <laughs> my big ass. Gladick approaches you and says, Fear not, young one. I can teach you the ways. Oh, yeah, because he's also... What? You're Are you both arm? missing left arm? I've never noticed. Oh, well, not as much as you, but the important parts is he left, lifts up his left stump. I've never noticed. Good for you. I just, you know? Sometimes people treat the disabled differently. I, like, go to, like, high five him and it's just stump. Yeah, it's your right arm, so, like, <laughs> you can actually, like, high five across just, you know, like, straightforward just fine. Yeah. He, your your left, his right, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you lift up to high five, and he goes, "That's gonna take some getting used to." Believe it or not, I used to be left-handed. Well, I'm gonna go look at prosthetics. Do you want to come with? I saw the brochures. I can pay. I have well adjusted at this point. I I will accompany you, but need not bother 
my purse with such things. They've got a guy who's like healing elves <laughs> that have been tortured magically for centuries. If you were interested in getting your hand back, you might be able to. You see kind of like, you see a wave of emotions kind of pass over Gladick's normally stony face. I feel like Gladick would be the baddest bitch if he had both of his hands. And he, like, he deliberates for a moment and he stands in silence. Lorenzo, like, puts his hand on Gladick's shoulder and he just kind of goes, I believe that it is best this way. But thank you. I mean, you change your mind. He's a really cool guy. <laughs> I am sure you do have some remarkable healers in your city. Question. <laughs> yeah? How much would you say a eighth level gem of wonder's power is worth? A lot of Where the fuck did you get an eighth level gem? I have a 7th level, I have an 8th level, and I have 4 3rd levels. It's a lot of fucking dough. Roughly speaking, give me a number. Uh, I'd have to go into the book real quick. Is what the is 8th level 1 enough to pay for his mace is what he's asking. Oh, absolutely. You could just straight trade that to me and she'd do it. What's a 7? Uh, I'd have to... I'd have to double check. Yeah, I'll double check. Of... I'll double check here just in a minute when we're closing up. Sounds good. Sounds good. Kind of deal. But probably. Because you're looking for 32? 32. Well, 10% off of 32, but yeah. 10% yeah, off 32. 32 minus 3,000. So you're looking for like 28,000. Yeah, 29,8. I would, I would bet the seventh level would get you there. I just have to double check. The, uh, the relative magic item that I base the cost on gold wise you go check out prosthetics what is yeah. what's your budget because uh, I might also just have to pull out the book for you too I'm sitting on 15 grand right now and that's pretty good that that gets you that can get you like top of the line prosthetics you know you're you're looking like maybe five seven thousand gold well you're going elbow down you're you're probably looking like seven thousand gold base for for like that top of the line Edzeli level yeah prosthetic, yeah. um and then if you wanted enchantments on top of that it counts as weapon enchantment price over and above, yeah. or that's wondrous item cool. enchantment if that's you know the kind of enchantment you're going for, yeah, yeah. well I'm definitely gonna jack it out enchantment and stuff so like so I'll, yeah. I'm doing it I'm probably just gonna spend as much as I can on the back two on so like okay what I get. you know like you guys ever see uh Treasure Planet the cyborg where like he has the arm yeah. that he can like turn, turn <laughs> yeah. into like a bunch of different things. yeah definitely like, I'm gonna just include like the, a little the multi tool like, arm steel in it so I don't have to wear the flip ring anymore or I get to pitch this to you guys now because you were constantly pitching it to me what if you get made to put a rocket booster inside your prosthetic <laughs> Exactly what you were just going for. Poetry. <laughs> All I'm saying is that you have just found out how dangerous maze okay, rocket technology okay, 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 is. Okay, okay, okay. But but now we get like an actual working version of that. Like li listen. You like, right that's that's the it would be so poetic. You you <laughs> technically could. I am one hundred percent gonna make you roll one bomb ass will save to not have PTSD surrounding maze contraptions from now on, though, if you're gonna go that route. <laughs> I'm not just gonna give it to you that you've walked out of this mentally unscathed. Yeah, so I can get a like because you are you are 100 taking this limb loss in oh, inhumane, yeah, no. unrealistic it, stride. Yeah, it's 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 it, it hasn't hit yet. What? Yeah, it's really like, what it is. <laughs> but it it just it would fit so well, which is the theme of this campaign of just not learning, not your learning mistakes. your fucking. <laughs> It's been three Doubling years down. of Is not learning. <laughs> How many times did Haraway go into that fucking transmutation lay line? The rabbit. How many times? I'm like, you that's know, a brilliant this idea. Might, this might not be working as well as people think, but you guys keep going. I get a rocket fist. I now I, you're a monk. I get my. <laughs> I get my prosthetic, I get my enchantments on it, and then I yeet that bitch into the transmutation ley line. No, you need to do the transmutation ley line first. You would get no. a human arm back, but it's <laughs> <laughs> like... 
Oh. It'd be like Pinocchio, You're right. but really fucked I'd, up. I'd have to do it like like how Usul dipped. I'm a real it. arm now. <laughs> yes. But I can Please. afford a plus two enchantment on that. Yeah, that sounds like that sounds like rocket fist. I'm, I'm I don't want saying. the rocket fist. Guys, thank you for watching tonight. <laughs> We're gonna close out just a smidge early, as this is we have 15 minutes to turn this around, and it's not gonna happen. Thank you for watching. Ian's we learning. will see you guys next week. He learns from Bye -bye. his mistakes. You. you know, you're here. I'm here. We're here. Why haven't you liked, comment, or subscribed? It, why? Why? I'm good. <laughs>